Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to my Dinosaurs 8 guides here. Uh, today, I'm actually doing something that I did not think I was going to do. As you can see up there, I am on Battle 97. Now, what I've been doing for approximately uh, three hours, which was dumb of me, uh, was playing Dynasty Warriors 8 from Battle 1 all the way to 97. You do have the option, do not do what I do, you do have the option to save, to save your game, uh, if you get to like 30 or something and you have other stuff to do or you're tired of playing. I mean, you get tired if you're playing something over and over and over, but I mean, this wasn't that bad. I was listening to a podcast while playing it and it wasn't too bad, but uh, anyways, what I'm trying to say is I'm doing a guide on getting the War Elephant. And I'm going to go ahead and play the rest of the battles I have here with you guys. Um, so like I was saying, uh, you can save if you're at like battle 30 or something and come back to this mode later. Or you can do things like that and then keep the battles going. It's not really that difficult. Uh, but yeah, I'm playing on beginner too. <laughs> Just because I don't feel like str struggling at all getting this... Uh, Achievement, or wait, I already got the achievement for 50. Do you get an achievement for 100? I don't know. But anyways, I'm playing as one young. Uh, he's an alright character. I just felt like playing someone different. I've been playing as Gan Ning and Ma Chao and Bao Sun Young and you know what I mean? So I've been playing material battles over and over and over and over and over again. <coughs> and so, yeah, that's what I've been doing. So we're playing as one young. And we're d going into our 98th battle, I believe. You need 100 straight to get the War Elephant, I think. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, for the Red Hair, I think I mentioned this in my Ambition Mode video already. Uh, but for the Red Hair, you just have to do 90. And they don't have to be in a row. It has to be consecutive, yes. But you can play 30, exit, you get one Rare Horse. You can play 30 another day. That You don't have to save. You can play 30 and exit back to your town. I don't know what I'm doing here. I could just be coming to kill this dude. You can play 30, exit back to the town and stuff. Start on level 1 again. And I think I explained all this, but I just feel like explaining it again. You can play it again to 30 and you'll get another animal. Uh, if you hadn't already gotten like the first rare or whatever. You'll get like Hex Mark, Shadow Runner, and then you'll get... Or Shadowrunner Hex Mark, I'm not sure of the order. And then you get red hair after another 30, after you take a break. You don't have to save and then continue. Real easy. So this is basically all I do. We're going to battle 99 now. My voice is, like, dying on me for some reason. It might be because I did all of those weapon guides within such a short range of time. I recorded those like crazy, and you could probably tell my uploading is maybe a little slower now, but that's because I released a whole ton of content at once. Um, once Saints Row comes out, I'll be doing a lot of Let's Play stuff in that. Uh, I'm not sure if I should show cutscenes too much in there. Um, I may not want to. I may just, I may have the volume really low and then just talk over it. But, I mean, you have to do that. It's not my content, you know what I mean? And so I love the game, I'd like, or I love how the game looks. I'd like you guys to actually go out and purchase it yourself uh, and play along with me. That's the main motivation. But anyways, I'm getting out of place with this video. This video is about Dynasty Warriors. So what I'm doing today is um, I'm getting the... Oh, crap. I'm just going to kill this guy real quick. I'm getting the War Elephant, which is 100 straight consecutive battles. You cannot do... 30, 30, 30 in this one, like you do for the red hair. Uh, you actually have to play 100 consecutive. You can save and exit, but you can't go back to your town um, and continue playing this. Unlike me, being an idiot, I just play them all at once. Uh, but that's what you can do. So now, we're on Battle 100. So let's go ahead and do a Hefei Skirmish. <coughs> on Beginner, playing up to 100. It's kind of just like their defense gets higher. Make sure to take a 99 character just in case. I mean, just because then you can actually kill them a lot easier. Uh, what am I trying to say? You won't die, basically, is what I'm trying to say. 
Uh, and since your health doesn't recover, you need to make sure you have a good weapon that revives all your, or brings your health back. Not really a problem in beginner though. I'm not even sure if I've been hit in the past like 50 levels, but health has not been a problem for me at all. I'm still using my Lubu Spear strategy, of course, even though I've gotten some recommendations about uh, tempering weapons and things like that, but eh, I'll just stick with what I know for now. I mean, it hasn't messed with me at all yet, so... I, that's one thing I hope they fix. Um, you're able to see so much more on your screen, but one thing they should always have a... Uh, um, what, what do I mean? Uh, so, like, when I first got here, the unit commander was not on my screen. Uh, he should have priority, since he's someone you have to kill, rather than all these little peons, these peasant guys. Because you get to an, an area, and then the main guy isn't there for you to kill. What if you have a time you're trying to get to, right? But um, anyways, that's me complaining. So, battle result 100. Awesome. Uh, clear time 49 seconds. So each one of these takes like a minute. So if you're not screwing around, you can bust through the menus really quickly. Uh, loading screens maybe take uh, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, depending on whatever. Okay, you get a weapon. Okay, this is what we wanted. The War Elephant Animal Collector. I got all the animals, guys. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. 500 is his power. You know what? I'm going to read it. A symbol of those that have fought successive battles and realized their ambition. Although slow, its attack strength is incredible. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me there. Now, screw going to the next battle. We are returning to camp. So let's go ahead and return to camp here. Whew. Uh, since my actual ambition mode uh, video... I've completed the Tonkitai, so this can maybe be a follow-up video. And what else have I done since then? Um, I've gotten a lot. Let's talk to Zheng Liao real quick. He's probably like, oh, we fought 100 battles together. You and me are brothers. Oh, I also changed the way that uh, my place looks. You can actually change that. Anyways, uh, so everything is perfect. I have 50 on everything. Let me see, camp management. 50 on everything on uh, Merchant Barrack, all this stuff. So pretty awesome. Uh, I actually learned something, which I don't know if I showed this in the other video, but I can actually buy special weapons here, which I did not know for a mount, an amount of gold. I did not know that. Uh, speaking of which, I probably have all kinds of new weapons to sell. Eh, probably not that many. Eh, not that many. Oh well, I'll get some money later. Anyways, um... I think this runs way better than it did too, when I from when I did my ambition mode, because my ambition mode video because uh, of the patch that came out, it made it way better. Not the patch, but the update, I guess. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out what the main point of this video is is going to be the animals. So let's go all the way up here: walnut, mahogany, birch, chestnut, maple, shadow runner, hex mark, red hair. An elephant, regular elephant, tigers, wolf, panda, bear, falcon, golden panda, which you get from completing the Tonkatai. Uh, then the harrier, which you also get from um, finishing the Tonkatai, I think. Let me see here. What's he get? Okay, and let's also go to golden panda, let you guys see that. Okay, and then the war elephant. So let's go ahead and hit this. Eliminates damage from arrows, prevents you from being knocked off mount, and restores health of a rider that's near death. Pretty cool. Okay, so uh, that's about all the animals. I mean, honestly, that's all of them. Really. Uh, I have almost all the achievements in this game. Thank you. Well, no, I can't. I don't think I can actually say that. I think I'm missing quite a bit. Uh, but I will work on getting those. Anywho. Uh, I might as well show you guys a finished Tonkatai. There it is. Basically the same thing I had earlier, but now no sticks next to it. Looks pretty. I don't know if there's a way you can go visit the Emperor randomly. But, uh, this area is a little bigger, if you can see that, uh, from last time. Uh, what else would I like to say? I think that's about it, guys. I think that's all I have to say. 
Uh, if you do finish the Tongatai 100%, and then you're like, well, where the hell is the Emperor? He's not talking to me. Go do a uh, battle with the guard, and then when you come back, he'll tell you. Uh, just wanted to let you guys know. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I have much more content coming out very soon. Uh, like and comment. I'll discuss things with you if you comment. Right now, there's not very many people here, so I'd like to. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.